So this weekend at school, this guy named Frank came in and gave this amazing lecture on Native American indigenous religion, and I love it. It was like completely speaking to my heart. And some of the imagery that popped up for me that really resonated was this idea of, I mean, he was saying that, you know, a long time ago that the Native Americans would get in their canoes and they would paddle up the Mississippi and they would trade with other, you know, cities along the way. And like the way they did it was by, he used the phrase, I'm not going to cheat you and you're not going to cheat me. They're going to do it with respect and reciprocity and they're going to trade their potteries and their medicines and all that stuff. And so that feels so good. But unfortunately, you know, we kind of live in a society that doesn't share that same viewpoint in terms of business. And so I'm kind of like, you know, creating my own healing practice that feels very much like that canoe, the kind of symbolic, like, you know, I'm in the canoe paddling up the stream nice and peacefully and like, you know, like trading my knitted goods and trading my Reiki treatments for medicines and, you know, food and other stuff from other people in a respectful way. It feeds my soul. But I'm also involved in this like other company that, you know, I, I freelance with to help, you know, just supplement my income while I'm building this healing practice. And it doesn't feel like a canoe. It feels more like like um, like a jet ski on like this crazy wild, you know, rough waters in an ocean that you just have to like grab on tight to and just like, you know, hope that you don't fly off as you're like riding this thing and it doesn't necessarily feed me in that same way. And so the contrast of going back and forth between these two worlds is sometimes a struggle. And today it's been a little bit of a struggle. You know, I woke up this morning from like the an email from like the company that kind of drained me, you know, but then it was followed up by an email from a friend at school that helped lift me up. And so it kind of the back and forth and back and forth and back and forth makes me go, oh, like, how do I just stay in my canoe? You know, my healing practice is my canoe. But, um, I don't know, Brian reminded me today that I need to be grateful, and he's absolutely right. Like, it all comes down to gratitude, especially for the stuff that we struggle with, because even like in this kind of like, you know, job that I have that doesn't necessarily feed me, it also provides me a lot of nourishment that I'm really grateful for, whether it's from a financial perspective or an opportunity to go deeper inside of myself and offer healing to an environment that actually needs it, or if it's friendships or things that I'm learning or growing, or it's, you know, a thing that's taking me to that next level. So, Today, you know, despite what the day looks like, I can't forget to be grateful, you know, for all of it, for all the nourishment, for the sun, for my partner, for this video, for you guys, for the job, for my Reiki practice, and just trust that, you know, I'm exactly where I need to be today, and I don't need anything else. My canoe is taking me to where I need to go in its own little time and place, so, um, yeah, today, I'm grateful for even the kind of challenging parts, so... Thanks for listening.